So for today, we're going to be looking at Doomfang Pauldrons. This is personally like one that I chose, so this did not get asked for. But if you do guys want to see a certain exotic or even an armor set in general, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to get started on that video. But again, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. I really appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So Doomfang Pauldrons used to be my favorite exotic to do with melee builds because obviously that's the whole shtick of it. But also because when you're using your super, you just throw so many shields. It, it was not even funny. You were able to throw so many shields. Unfortunately, I haven't been using it with Void 3.0 just because uh, I have like specific builds with Void 3.0 that I already go to. So I can't really speak upon the val validity of Doomfang Pauldron's uh, viability now. But you might never know. I probably will use this this weekend just to see how it is still. Because again, it's one of my favorite exotics, at least look wise from D2 vanilla. As for the actual look itself, I think this is like one of the strongest looking exotics that Titans have. It's so cool. The only unfortunate part is the fact that the purple horns will never change color. The horns will always retain that purple, which I definitely think is a negative because sometimes you don't want to do purple. Sometimes you want to do another, another color. And it's also really, really fucked up because the purple really messes you up because if you if you guys can see closely the arms actually have like little lights on them and those will actually change color depending on the shader you're using so if you're using like a really weird color with purple then it's going to clash really really hard speaking of shadering like i said it doesn't change colors so most of the time you're going to be just fighting the purple which again if you don't lean into the purple then you're going to be really annoyed because specifically like with abyssinian and gold you can see that like the armor pieces are gray and or not gray but like brown gray and then the glow is actually red so the purple is just kind of like out of place for me so uh not the best when it comes to shadering but if you do lean into the purple it looks amazing as for the example set speaking of leaning into the purple i ended up going with B byzantium lotus i usually hate this shader because of the really gross yellow green color but with this set, I there is none, none of it. So that's why I'm using that shader here. For the helmet, we're using Meridian Constellation Helm. This is like one of my favorite helmets for my Titan, uh, specifically for females, just because it looks really cool. Can't really speak upon males, but if I remember correctly, it looks really weird on males. For the chest piece, we're using Devastation Complex in combination with Jensen Knight Greaves, because A, I like the fact that the cloth on the stomach goes really well with the crouch cloth then changes into that really weird texture for Jensen Night Greaves. And then the, the Virtuous Mark, I really like this set because it gives you like a dick plate thing, like a like a crotch plate, which I think is really important with the Jensen Night Greaves because I don't think you get one. And on top of that, Virtuous Mark has the purple feathers that never change color, which is why I just decided to throw it in because A, I'm using purple already, and B, because I need a crotch plate armor. So not a lot to say about this one because this is kind of like my bread and butter looks. I've made this look a lot of times with a lot of armor pieces. And one of the reasons why I'm using this set is because I think the arms, specifically the shoulder pads, look really good with the Devastation Complex set. And from there, I was just like, might as well just go with my bread and butter look because that's the best look I've done for this set. But Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, like I said, I think the crystal on the helmet looks really good with the crystal on the horns. I think those look really cool. If we ever get a shader that really mirrors that like purple to pink for the horn, but on the helmet, I think that would be such a banger. And then obviously you could use the Doomfang Pauldron's chest piece. They have a specific legendary chest piece that you can buy on the Eververse. I don't have it because I I think it'd be way cooler if we could earn it in game. But I mean... I'm tired of having that conversation. So Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the first ornament, we're looking at the Lordly Homage or Homage, Homage, whatever. It is basically a Shax inspired look. At least for me, that's what I think of because Lordly, you mean Lord Shax and then Homage, it's obviously an homage to Lord Shax. At least that's what I think. So I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below, but that's what I get. Uh, as for how it shaders, let's talk about that so that way I can talk about how it looks as well. The only unfortunate part about this is the fact the horns also do not change color. So the orange horn in the beginning will not change color and the white at the tips will not change color as well. 
So you are stuck with white, unfortunately, and orange. I think orange is the bigger problem here because white, you can really mess around with anything. But as you guys can see from like Echo Anger, I think Echo Anger looks fine with it. If the orange actually did change color, I think that would be much better. Uh, for Bissonian Gold, it looks fine as well. Thankfully, like we do have shaders that will look really good with these horns, uh, specifically like some of the Crucible stuff, specifically like the early Crucible shaders. So I'm talking like Vanilla Destiny 2, uh, War Mine, maybe Christopher Cyrus, and maybe Forsaken. No, not Forsaken. Forsaken, maybe, maybe. So for this, you're definitely going to want to combine oranges, obviously. Orange white. We do have an orange white. We have a few, actually. But they are Crucible shaders from previous seasons, so I don't know if you can get them anymore. Hopefully, Bungie, Bungie brings them back because when you combine it with those shaders, it looks really, really cool. But also, don't forget, you can also combine shaders from the Vanguard. Uh, specifically, let's just look into my examples so I can actually explain it to you. As you guys can see, I'm using, I'm using Cinder Char, which is a shader from Season of the Menagerie. Don't know if this is still a, like if you can get it anymore. Probably not. But again, this is more just to showcase like you can use a Vanguard shader. It looks fine. I think this looks super dope because a I think the shader gives off this really like like an old battered look, which is really good because the horns not only look kind of battered, but like the horns in the back are also broken so for me this looks really good so speaking of the look let's talk about it for the helmet we're using the vanilla destiny 2 crucible helmet specifically the ornament from warmind if i remember correctly the fireforge titan head ornament uh just because i wanted a different look for the helmet and i think it looks super cool i don't have all of the pieces for this so unfortunately i don't have the chest piece because if i did i'd be using that in almost every set that i have for the chest piece, we're using the Sunbreak Plate. I think those look amazing with a combination of Deep Explorer Greaves. I think these two are, look so good together. And then the, the mark, we're using the Binary Phoenix mark. I think this is like one of my favorite marks in the game because it just looks super cool. So I don't have much to say about this one because again, I think all the pieces really speak for themselves, uh, specifically the helmet chest piece and boots i'm specifically using those because they're very edgy like not not like in a like a not stylistically like oh you're an edgy hunter i mean it specifically like the geometry of the armor is very edge and that's really it like i wanted something edgy with it because the arms you don't see it a lot but like specifically the shoulder pads at the bottom you can see there's like edge edges to it which is what i wanted to do um, you can combine more fur pieces with this set, but the fur pieces that we do have, I don't think look really well with the Lordly Homage because the Lordly Homage has brown. It never changes the color of the fur, which I probably should have mentioned, but the brown never changed color. So I didn't want to put like another fur that has black or something. Um, so that's why I didn't go with more fur, but you can do more fur if you want to. So. Titans, let me know what you guys think. Again, I really, really like this set. This set would probably be the set that I would actually combine it with or, or, or use is what I should say. So, and last but not least for the last ornament, we're going to be looking at the embodiment of the War Beast. This is such a cool ornament. It's just unfortunate that it's very specific. I mean, fortunate and unfortunate, however you may see it. I think it's like good and bad because if you lean into the Cabal theme, it's going to look super cool. And if you don't, it's just going to look super off. So just be aware of that. As for how it shaders, I think it shaders fine. It, a lot of the pieces shader really well. The only unfortunate part is I, I do get really annoyed with the scales for the armor. Sometimes it takes the shader that I want and sometimes it takes the color that I don't want. So sometimes I have to have to fight it. But other than that, I think some of the piece, some of the pieces that change color, I'm like, yep, yeah, that's, that's what I was expecting. So for the example set, I've actually made this set, I think last year for Halloween, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'll try to find the video right now. If I don't, I do apologize, but I should be able to find this one. This is an old set that I made and I decided to just reuse it because it's one of my favorite sets. I was thinking about using, changing the chess piece to the Cabal themed one we got in season of, uh, season of the Risen, if I remember correctly, but I just decided to reuse the old armor set because I, I just think it looks really, really cool. So for the helmet, we're using the steeplechase helmet in combination with the steeplechase plate. I know some people are like, whoa, you're using two pieces from the same set. Uh, yeah, I just think the steeplechase helmet, the like horn thing at the top 
looks really good with the steeplechase horn in the back i think obviously they they were made for each other but i just wanted really to really retain this i was thinking about using the cabal helmet but it just does not look good specifically with i mean to be fair i don't look i don't think it looks good at all but that's just me personally for the boots we're using the technosaurus stompers specifically because i'm going for a war beast look and i think the technosaurus stompers are just a perfect fit for that and then for the mark we're using the uh we're using the leviathan mark from the raid leviathan uh specifically the non-prestige version because the prestige version just literally looks the same so uh well to be fair that is the logo that you see on the screen right now is the prestige version but it, it literally doesn't change color or anything it's literally the same thing from the prestige version to the non-prestige version which is why i'm like it doesn't matter because it doesn't change color or anything like that so this is probably one of my more favorite sets because it's so specific and the only way this would get better is if i had a better chest piece or a better helmet for this other than that i think each of these pieces look amazing and if you want to go that extra step i think row scale for the shader is perfect it's that right perfect shader of red that the cabal are known for so specifically the war bees so let me know what you guys think in the comments below again this was not asked for but I, this is more for me because i really do like this uh this exotic is one of those exotics that i use a lot like in my downtime just to chill and do whatever i want but at one time this was this was meta so respect but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh did you guys like the video let me know in the comments below again if you guys want to see your own uh exotic be portrayed let me know in the comments below i'll be more than happy to do that i'm also working on legendary armor sets that we can just go through and basically just review because i do think a lot of people uh kind of should go out of their comfort zone funnily enough i say this after reusing like two sets technically but i do try to go out of my own comfort zone a lot so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later